Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to run Jenkins in a docker container. I am in the docker hub. So this is the image which we are going to use to run Jenkins in a docker container. Let's first review the documentation. Click documentation. So you can clearly see this is the official Jenkins docker image and here you will find all the information related to running Jenkins in the docker container. So now let's run the docker container. Go to the terminal docker run. We are going to give the name to the container Jenkins. Then I'm going to run this in the background. So minus D detach mode. Then we are going to do the port mapping. The Jenkins actually runs in a Tomcat server. So whose default port is 8080. So we are doing the port mapping to the localhost 8080. And then we are going to port map to 50,000, which is where the Jenkins masters and slave communication happens. Okay. So then we are going to specify the image name, which is Jenkins Jenkins. So the image is not available locally. So it is pulling the image from the Docker hub. The image is getting downloaded now. Since this is just for the demo purpose, I have not done the volume mount. So ideally in a real scenario, we should do the volume mount. We need to use the minus V parameter and then specify the folder name where actually all the Jenkins related files will be there. So that in case if you have to restart the container, so the data will be persisted. So and it, we will be able to restart using that content. So you can see that information in the documentation. So when you start the uh, Jenkins in a Docker container, uh, it's always recommended to specify using a volume mount. Okay. So now the image has been successfully downloaded and the container is now running. Let's verify that. Copy yes. So we could see there is a container with the name Jenkins, right? Using the image Jenkins Jenkins and with the port mapping 8080 and 50,000 is successfully running for the last 13 seconds. Okay. So we need to get the password. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to do a docker logs and then the container name Jenkins. Okay. So this is the password. So just let's copy this. So then what we are going to do is we are going to go to the browser HTTP localhost 8080. Okay, so we need to paste the password here, then click continue. So we have two options. This is the install suggested plugins or select plugins to install. Since just as a demo purpose, I'm just going to click install suggested plugins. So it is going to install all these plugins and it is going to take a few minutes. So all these suggested plugins are successfully installed. So now let's create the first admin user. I'm going to call it as Jenkins underscore user. I'm going to give some password. Just going to confirm that. The full name I'm going to give it as Jenkins user. Email address, I'm going to give my email address. save and continue okay now to save and finish okay click start using jenkins okay so now jenkins is ready right so you'll be able to create a new item either a freestyle project or a pipeline or multi configuration project multi branch pipeline so we'll be able to create that okay and here using the manage jenkins so you'll be able to configure this what are the additional configurations you need to do configure credentials, credential providers, all these things you'll be able to do. In this demo, we have seen how to run Jenkins in a Docker container and install suggested plugins and create the initial admin user. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.